Let's talk about book management, a major part of the Quantia platform. Our book manager covers three very important aspects that every investor cares deeply about. First, it enables you to accurately project the market value of your book at any arbitrary date in the future using a variety of sophisticated modeling techniques. Second, it offers the ability to experiment with your book by simulating transactions today and then comparing how they would perform against your current book down the road. And finally, it provides a trade adjustment search that helps you easily find the most efficient ways to reach a set of goals, such as when balancing a delta neutral book. Let's walk through an example to illustrate each of these. We'll start off with a simple portfolio that has a collar position in a single stock. If we click Manage Book, it will take us to the Book Manager where we can optimize the holdings to meet our goals. The first thing you'll notice at the top of the window is the market value projection for this book. This chart models out the range of probable prices for the underlying and the target date along with how the book would perform relative to each. By default, the target date is set to the earliest expiration date in our book although you can easily move it around to project the value of the book on other dates. There are also shortcut buttons that allow you to jump a set number of days forward or backward, as well as to the next or previous expiration. As you move to a date beyond the first expiration in the book, the expiration handling strategy selected becomes a more important factor because it instructs the simulation as to how options are to be treated when they reach expiration in the money. We cover expiration handling in depth in another video. The next section on this page presents the pending book you're working with. Since no changes have been made here yet, this is the same book you currently have in your portfolio. Let's say you're considering a move where you buy back the call you're short and move forward with just a protective put strategy. We can easily remove that holding from the pending book, which will immediately update the market projection to provide the performance comparison between the book with and without the short call. At the same time, this transaction has been tracked so that you know what adjustments need to be made to get from your current book to this pending one. As you can see here, there is a cost to adjusting the book, which is taken into account as part of the market value change above. All of the changes made in the book manager apply to the pending book and can be rolled back without affecting the portfolio. However, if you want to apply all the changes back to the portfolio, you can use the Commit to Portfolio button to synchronize them. On the other hand, it also provides an easy way to roll back a change you've made, which we'll do now. In this collar strategy, there is almost $15,000 tied up in stock. Suppose you'd like to free some of it up by selling off the shares and put and replacing them with a call. You can easily do that from the Add Options tab at the bottom. We'll replace our closed holdings with a comparable call that should replicate our original return chart reasonably well. We can hide and show the pending book series to illustrate how good a fit it is. We can also take a look at the track changes to see that we've freed up about $13,000. Since we have some of this extra cash available now, let's find a bullish trade that we can use to generate some additional income. The best way to do that is to locate the Trade Search tab at the bottom of the screen and select the Option Search Engine button. From here, we'll pick a time horizon about six weeks out and search for bull put spreads. The top trade looks like a good fit, so we'll click through for a quick review. Since this seems like a good opportunity, we can click the Model and Book button to bring it back to our pending book. Although this trade expires a week later, we can see that it helps us grow our returns in that moderately bullish section. Unfortunately, it does risk more than double the downside if the stock drops. There's also a lot of profit potential if the stock makes a huge move upward, but those prices are pretty unlikely based on the implied distribution. Fortunately, there's an easy way we can adjust the book to fix some of these issues. If we head down to the Adjustment Search tab at the bottom of the screen, it provides a broad list of parameters that we can use to search for adjustments that help us meet a variety of goals. In this case, we're looking to neutralize our delta and gamma so that we can optimize for a smaller upside move than we're currently set up for. We also have the option to specify a maximum debit or minimum credit for this adjustment and could even limit the final book margin provided in the results. We can also specify the range of expirations we want to include in the results. Finally, we can limit transactions to include only buys or sells, calls or puts, and even details like maximum leg quantity or minimum option bid. The one additional parameter we'll tweak here is to limit the adjustments only to options that are no more than 20% likely to be exercised at or before expiration. The search found 82 adjustments that fit our parameters. 
which we can then sort based on a variety of properties. In this case, we're going to take on the adjustment that offers the highest credit. Now if we take a look at our projected results, we can see that the downside risk is still greater than our current book, but it's much more acceptable. And as we move up to the sweet spot in our moderately bullish view, we can see that the returns are significantly better. We have opened ourselves up to some significant risk in the event that the underlying surges up over 35% in the next six weeks, but the implied distribution indicates that this sort of move is unlikely. While this seems like a book we would prefer to carry forward, there is one last sanity check we should do to confirm the validity. So far, we've been using the linear progression pricing for all of our charting. While this is a very efficient and effective way to compare books, it's not ideal for illustrating a variety of pricing scenarios for dates after expirations. For that, we will turn on the Monte Carlo series. Monte Carlo uses a more realistic approach to modeling price movement for future dates, and is a good way to verify the expectations being set for various returns. Here you can see that some of the many simulations run using Monte Carlo can stray from the linear approach based on how they model the underlying price progressing to the target date. We go into more depth about our price path modeling and strategies in their respective videos. We covered a lot about the book management features in this video, but there's a lot more to know. If you'd like to better understand how these features work and what you can expect from them, then please check out their respective videos. As always, good luck and good hunting.